for us in, in Canada, this was an issue that the Prime Minister had identified as a as one of our priorities in the meetings that he had here in New York in September. So we've obviously proceeded uh, according to the Canadian legislation, um, and we've been leading the way. I think it's fair to say that the sanctions have already had an impact, um, and we're we're certainly hearing that from people on the ground in Haiti, um, and that's uh, that's what I was able to discuss with the Security Council earlier this week. While the nation of Haiti is moving closer to the brink of collapse, since early January, the country was left without a single elected official, leaving heavily armed gangs to be in control. Today, much of the capital, Port-au-Prince, is under the control of gangs that have been targeting police, and Haitians are living in fear and chaos. That the sanctions have already had an impact, um, and we're, we're certainly hearing that from people on the ground in Haiti. 